Let me preface this video by saying I love the classic Sonic titles on Genesis. I've beaten them multiple times. In fact, I'd argue that Sonic 3 & Knuckles is one of the best platformers I've ever played. But I'll leave it at that so I can milk this content for another video, <clears throat> I mean do a full video on why it's so good. This video is not meant to shit on these awesome games, I just want to share my first experiences with Classic Sonic. Also, when I refer to the Classic Sonic trilogy in this video, I'm talking about Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Sonic 3 & Knuckles for the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on where you're from. I fully believe that Sonic 3 & Knuckles combined is the full experience of that game. Believe it or not, my first introduction to Sonic was Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the GameCube. <laughs> great game, a lot of fun, and I have a lot of great nostalgic memories with that game. I also played the Sonic Advance trilogy growing up, so as you can see, I kinda missed the boat for great classic Sonic games. I also had the Sonic Mega Collection for GameCube, which contains a collection of classic Sonic games, but I remember not enjoying it at all back then. In fact, my first introduction to Sonic on Genesis went something like this. You have three buttons, and they all do the same fucking thing? You can't somersault? You can't attack? You can't even spin dash! All you can do is jump. This game's fucking garbage. I would later learn that the fact that they made a damn good game with only one button is a testament to Sonic's fantastic design. Many of my friends are big classic Sonic fans though, so recently, with the coaching of my very own Sonic Sensei, I decided it was time to play through the classic Sonic trilogy and give it a redemption. And thus, my argument whenever something would go wrong was born. Games are designed with certain mechanics and rules in mind when playing them, and I would learn that the central mechanic of Sonic, that is, speed, would have no hold on the way the game should be played. Sonic has no rules. When the Sonic and Sega vs Mario and Nintendo console war was in full swing, Sega's marketing campaign was about Genesis blast processing, and how fast Sonic was in comparison to anything on the Super Nintendo. So you watch those commercials, and you get amped up on Sega's radical adverts, and you want to play some goddamn Sonic the Hedgehog. So what do you want to do with Sonic the Hedgehog? You want to go fast, you want to run fast, spin fast, jump fast, and therein lies the problem. Sega and Sonic tells you to go fast, you WANT to go fast, but the single worst thing you can do in any of the classic Sonic games is go fast. With the exceptions of loops and other set pieces where spinning and speed is important, you better take your goddamn time or you're gonna run into a pit, an enemy, or spikes. Why do you place a rule saying gotta go fast and then punish me for it? Sonic has no rules. In fact, the second zone of Sonic the Hedgehog, Marble Zone, is one of the slowest stages ever. There are entire stretches where you just stand there. Come on. Come on! You need to take your time, and you need to be cautious and deliberate, which is not at all how Sonic was marketed. It's false advertisement, and it pisses me off! I just want to go fast! But it gets worse. <laughs> oh yeah, it gets worse. So you play slow, you play cautious, you play deliberate, and you start to think you see patterns in the level design. When Sonic is going downhill, it's probably safe to spin dash or otherwise go fast. Right? Wrong! Surprise! It's a fucking Manus, and it's gonna hit you every time you think you're getting into the groove. It punishes you for doing what you want. This game tells you to go fast. You want to go fast. But you can't. What does this game even want from me? Well. <laughs> Guess what? Going too slow is a problem now, too. As you progress, there are enemies who will rapidly shoot at you, or levels that require you to move before they drop you into a pit, or crush you, or something starts to appear. You can't just establish that you have to go fast, then punish me, tell me to go slow, and then punish me again for going too slow! It's bullshit! Sonic has no rules! And then, there's the little things. The things that just push you right over the edge. 
I had an instance that I don't think I can replicate in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, where I was supersonic, which makes you mostly invincible and makes you go faster, and then I got the power sneakers, which makes you run even faster. And I went so fast up a quarter pipe that I somehow crushed myself with my speed into the corner, killing me, of course. In fact, sometimes when you collect the power sneakers, the game doesn't even know what the fuck to do. It just speeds up indefinitely. There's just all sorts of crazy bullshit in Sonic. Meaning you have to wait and you have to plan every single step. Especially late game and especially Sonic 2. Sonic 2 makes me angrier than any of the other titles. Firstly, you've got this shitty bonus stage for the emeralds that doesn't even fucking work. You have to be perfectly aligned to grab these rings, and it doesn't even work right when you are. It's definitely not fun. But, you want to be supersonic? You gotta take that hit to the fun. Of the classic trilogy, Sonic 2 punishes you the most for going fast. Pits and crushers after seemingly safe inclines, enemies appearing inside springs, weird shit I can't replicate, nearly unkillable enemies, and areas with just no indication of danger. Ugh, don't even get me started on poor Knuckles in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It just really feels like they did not give a shit with him. Knuckles glitches out in the weirdest ways, usually leading to his death. If you collect all the Chaos Emeralds, you can't even glide on command anymore without accidentally activating Super Knuckles, since it's all bound to the same button. Even though you have three buttons to work with! Three! There's even a zone that just straight up does not have a boss in the Knuckles campaign. Then what does Knuckles get rewarded with? He gets the shit shocked out of him. Great. Regardless, I love these games even though they're pretty much the exact opposite experience than what I was expecting. If you enjoy the speed segments for what they are, and then immediately remember to slow down and play it like the platformer it is, you'll have a much better and less rage-inducing time with these amazing games. Except maybe Sonic 2, the fucking Metropolis and bullshit. Hey, thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe for more Cyberfile content, and if you like this video, Show me with that little thumbs up button. If you liked this video, you might like one of my other videos. You can click right on the boxes to jump to them. Cyberfile, offline.